watching Polycap India's number one cable and wires company Dream Home Season 6. It gives me immense pleasure in welcoming each one of you to join us in the journey of finding the most beautiful homes in Kerala. With us on our panel, we have Anush Gopakumar, the chief architect of Kumar Group. We also have with us Sudha, architect and interior designer from Swasti. So we have a very beautiful home with us from Pallikara, it's called Muttam Total House. So let's take a look at this house. Welcome to Polycap, India's number one cable and wires company, Dream Homes Season 6. Today I'm standing in front of Muttam Total House in Pallikara at Nalan District. The house has been built in a variety of styles as in they have done a fusion of um, western contemporary and a classic approach. So if you look at above the roofing they have provided sky windows which gives it a western feel. In the balcony space the um, you know the transparent glass that is provided again that reflects a lot of uh, western and contemporary look. Apart from that they have used a lot of um, stone cladding on the pillars. Stone cladding is done on the sideways even on the um, you know gateway wall also they have done. Landscape area has been given really good importance. They have this garden space here on the sideways also. Um, there's a individual car parking and there's enough car parking space provided on either sides of the compound area. The car parking area design is a little different. Um, the variation is on its ceiling. The roofing is done using uh, toughened glass. So they have provided comfortable shade and mixed it with glass. So that uh, that pattern is kind of new. Otherwise, there's a dedicated you know individual space for your car parking, which is pretty good enough um, for big cars even. have a comfortable seating area right next to the entrance. The flooring used is light colored granite and for the stepping it's lepota granite. If you see behind me the complete wall has been done using stone cladding. They have used national stones for it. Even that same is, uh, stone is used for the pillars even. And there's something peculiar about the windows. It's higher than the normal size. It's bigger so that helps in a lot of you know, extra light to enter. Uh, windows are corner facing of the house, you know, situated at the corners of the house and all are um, you know, extended height. Now let's go inside and check out the beautiful interiors. From the entrance next to the foyer, we have the official living space. I would like to start with the flooring, which is national wooden flooring. And the ceiling, we have wood paneling, which is teamed up with uh, fall ceiling. LED lighting has been provided, which makes it a well-lit room. Windows have been there on each corner, so it, you know, it helps in the cross ventilation and lighting.
They maintained a light color tone in the room, which gives a very pleasant feel because the first room that you'll, you know, enter inside the house. So it gives a very, you know, welcoming feel. They have used mainly white and blue colors. And wallpapers um, cover the entire uh, area of this wall. Even this side also, you can see the furnishing that they have used. It's actually a fusion of, um, you know, of mixture of classic, contemporary and even western style. So what we saw in the exteriors, that same has been continued in the interiors even. There's a portion there, um, right at the corner, that is a segregation between this particular room and the other parts of the house, which has been done using wood paneling and wallpapers. From the main entrance, that's the wooden frame, which is a big door, we enter the far area. Towards my this end is the official living space. If I explain you about the far area, well, the flooring is up to this. The main hall, it's wooden flooring. Above, it's wood paneling and a beautiful chandelier, which, you know, lights up the entire area. Then, behind me, what are you seeing? That's an extension to the family living, the dining area. Also have a kitchen. It's a five-bedroom house, so we have two bedrooms on the lower floor and three bedrooms above. long teak wood dining table and to add emphasis on this particular area overall lighting is pretty good they have used LED lights on the ceiling and they've used a lot of glass work the glass work can be seen in the official living area and even on this uh, you know kitchen is on this side so on the kitchen space also the cupboard that has been done using glass so what glass is done is one it complements the lighting second it maintains a lot of transparency between you know um, the different rooms so we have two bedrooms on either side we have um, a small courtyard space this courtyard is done there's a water courtyard led lights have been provided which gives a pretty look This is the family living space. It's also the TV viewing area. So that they have converted the, uh, the space below the staircase. That's why no wastage is there. It's also uh, a small prayer area. And these cuttings that you see, the, the side the cut work, that seems to be stand, standing out in the you know, feature of the interiors. We saw that cutout piece in the foyer. It was, the, it, it was there in the official living space. So this is there, you know, even the staircase. Um, this is indeed a standing out feature in the interiors. For the flooring, it's it's light graded granite itself. The wash area has been bifurcated well. It's uh, you know. It's closer to the dining table, but it isn't bifurcated. There's a small powder room space. They have designed the whole uh, place using tile cladding, and they also have a washroom here, a common toilet. It's a modular kitchen. Uh, they have maintained the classic feature in the kitchen as well. If we talk about it, it's a Korean top. Then they have wooden cabinets being provided below and above. Uh, sideways they have mixed up the glass combination like we have seen in the other places they've used a lot of glass work uh, for the for the cupboards then they also have a work area the sp spacing basically what they have done is is a pantry area so breakfast table is there and um, they segregated it well uh, meaning they have used style cladding and wooden paneling to segregate the main work area with the pantry space <laughs> The 
then the master bedroom on the lower floor to start with first of all the flooring is wooden and the ceiling they have done gypsum board it's fall ceiling with led lighting hasn't provided windows on either ends which helps in a lot of you know lighting to enter this room as well as for uh, for ventilation but they have used a lot of wood inside this bedroom like opposite to me there's a study table this wooden wardrobes the cut piece what we have seen um, that exist in the uh, wardrobe designs then uh, there's also on the sideways also the, for the headboard area they have used the same uh, wood paneling sideways uh, headboard wall what they have done is it's complete wallpaper the windows on either ends so a lot of windows uh, you know which helps in the overall lighting even the elevation is pretty good The stylish wooden staircase, it's a long elevated staircase. Uh, the flooring, what they've used is granite and on the side piece they've given wood paneling. The railing has also been provided with wood. The cut finishing can be seen, uh, what we saw in the early places also. And the standing out feature is the big glass frame. Okay, it's an open glass frame that gives a clear visual of the, you know, outside fields. So it's a pretty good view if you remove the curtains. And this takes us directly to the upper floor where we have three bedrooms. Let's go up now. The staircase directly leads us to the family living space on the upper floor. It's also the TV viewing area. For the wall they have done, it's wallpaper um, that's covered. They also have home theater space. And then on the sideways, wood paneling done, which also serves as a cupboard. The sideways also, they have kept the, actually the decorations to the minimum. For the flooring, it's, uh, it's granite and above it's fall ceiling. LED lighting has been provided. On this end, we have the balcony area and on either ends, we have um, bedrooms. We have a master bedroom on the upper floor. The features are similar to what we have seen on the um, lower area. Well, um, first of all, the ceiling, it's fall ceiling. In that lighting has been provided. LED lights have been used. Windows are in either sides, corner windows. Then on this wall also. So it helps in cross ventilation and a lot of lighting. For the headboard wall area, it's completely covered by wallpaper. And, um, you know, colorful lighting has been given and like warm color tone has been uh, given to the lightings. Opposite to me, there's a study table, wood paneling work has been done, uh, the flooring is wooden. Then there's a separate dedicated area for, uh, for the dress area and um, there's a big enough bathroom. <music> So I believe that was a splendid experience for all of you. This is me Abel signing off from Muttan Total House from Pallikara, Adalun District. As we just saw the house, how do you like it? How do you like the exterior and the landscape of this house? Uh, this house is set in a very large, again in a very large property with a wonderful driveway coming in. They've done some landscape around it, around the driveway when you come in. So that's that's a very nice setting. The house is set back, so you get a wonderful view of the house when you come in. However, in terms of the look of the house, it's a big house. They've done some very uh, modern, contemporary uh, designs in terms of uh, some straight lines. Then on, on one contrast, going very traditional in terms of sloping roofs and uh, wooden windows and uh, uh, wooden canopies on the porch so uh, with glass on top of it so it's kind of like a mix of uh, both different styles so a little uh, confusion in terms of what kind of a style this house is so they've tried to play with both the elements and uh, 
it's it is a very tricky thing when you do that uh, it has to match uh, the veranda is very nice the concept of a veranda in a house is nice uh, the landscape to the house is pretty nicely down with the driveway and the, and the lawn okay. with the setting of the uh, house in the back of a driveway lawn so I think overall it looks okay. All right. What do you have to say about the exteriors and landscape of this house? Correct. The landscape is done well, like he said. Uh, the uh, garden is planned out, and there is a nice driveway. A view into the the view towards the elevation of the house is nice. Uh, I like the uh, compound wall. It's okay. it's very well planned. A lot of detail into it. Neat rectangular uh, features are uh, seen, and uh, the 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 view of the compound wall from the house itself is a nice uh, view to the front uh, to the outside of the house i notice that there are some driveway around the side of it so i assume that the house uh, that the cars could be parked by the side of the house instead of at the porch itself also when we see the proportion of the house you'd like to uh, there are a lot of overhangs that gives an identity to the house yeah. but you'll find that the pergola on the top doesn't have any overhang so that sort of cut short it sort of mm. gives it a break there overall is a pleasing appearance thanks to the landscape mm. and the long driveway that is there to right. reach to the house and do the interiors please you as well uh, the interiors is done little more nicely it's, uh, it's come out nice the wooden flooring looks nice uh, in the living room uh, but however the bulky sofas kind of makes it a little cramped up but however uh, the the colors in the living room has been used nicely they've used some teal cushions and and a light kind of blue curtain so uh, it's kind of going pretty nicely there a wooden dining table looks uh, nice the space below the staircase is used for a tv area for the family uh, living a nice gray tone to the staircase has a staircase wall which is very nice and a, a kind of a glass and wood handrail very simple glass wood handrail for the staircase uh, it looks very uh, it looks simple and nice in that area the kitchen is nicely done good woodwork lots of light uh, the white counter top and um, it looks bright but however the, there's a breakfast table uh, kind of thing right smack in the middle of the kitchen uh, which is kind of making that space very cramped up and not being able to yeah. use very well but overall it looks nice uh, i i would have i would have preferred to use the wood and the blue in the bedrooms okay uh, rather than in the drawing rooms because drawing room somehow uh, the blue doesn't makes feel it like dull. a yeah it makes it dull that's one thing uh, you have these full height uh, windows uh, towards the corners of the mm. uh, drawing room which is which is very nice um, i like the uh, pattern in the wood that they've used a little cut out a trellis kind of pattern mm. from where the um, uh, light comes out and that pattern has been followed through all their uh, detailings mm. so that that is really very nice they've used crystal and wood in combinations that's nice the staircase handrails simple and elegant lines of the trellis then there is this um this theme is continued to the wardrobe also the trellis theme of the um woodwork that they've used so uh, the curved staircase landing that's also very nice a wallpaper in the bedroom is muted and simple so it's looking very elegant um i like that the children and the study area is has a very good utility part of it it's neatly designed the study area there what do you have to say about the lighting color and decor of this house some amount of thought has gone into lighting which is which is bringing nice a uh, nice feel into the house even decor also mm. uh, kind of good uh, they picked up good artifacts they picked up good curios to keep in the house so it's going a little well with the with the house can you share your your, your view point on this choice of uh, lighting the uh, color of the lighting the uh, indirectness and directness of the lighting that's all very nice in fact the excellent choice of fixtures also i liked it very much the uh, simple tones of the ceiling lights that have come out are also very nice the artifacts that they've gone are very color coordinated with the um, rest of the house or each particular room as such so that's also very nice yeah. they could have done a little more on the kitchen side the dining room side but uh, not withstanding it's a nice interiors color all right now let's get to the final and the last aspect which is the value for money and what do you have to say about that uh, i think this house they have spent uh, wisely and uh, they have got almost the desired effect on, on the, the house uh, for especially the interior part most of the areas they have used wood but wood has been used nicely it's not overdone up they have spent a lot of money on the exterior but uh, uh, it's not uh, kind of jelly in some really areas huh? so could have looked at the elevation a little more better and what do you have yes, to say true. uh they have spent a little money on the windows if you notice they have these ventilators also on the top of every window it's so it's a tall window that you get okay. so that brings a lot of light into it which is a very effective use of woodwork the interiors is done very stylish thank you so much with that we end with the judgment 
segment and now it's time for the scores so let me start with you anuj how much would you rate the exteriors of this home i have given it a 17 on 25 17 on 25 and you say 17 on 17 on 25. on 25 anuj for the interiors i have given 18 18 on 25 and you 18 on 25 18 on 25 oh, same pinch <laughs> <laughs> and what about the lighting color and decor I think I'll give it a 19. 19 on 25. Is it the same with you too? Yes, that's fine. Oh, wow. 19 on 25 again. And for the last and the most crucial aspect, which is the money, value for money, how much are you rating that? I have given it a 17 on 25. 17 on 25. 19. 19 on 25. So it's time for us to hear the grand total of the judges' score. And for Anuj, it is 71 on 100. And for Sudha, it is 73 on 100. And for public, out of 50, it is 36 which would be a grand total of 180 on 250. As we all know, painting is what that really adds color and beauty to the house. So let's hear how to choose paints and how to go about that. So let's start with Anuj. What do you have to say about painting? Today I think I will talk about uh, what is the kind of finishes you should give for generally your public spaces like living, huh. dining uh, okay. areas and the public like family room and all that. So uh, what you'll have to do is that it all depends upon what the kind of furniture design you're going for, the kind of interior design you're going for. So if you are having very loud interiors or very strong interior elements, it's always better to go for very lighter uh, walls, um, make it very light uh, like white or off white so that the house looks more lighter okay. area with the light coming in. Certain walls you can actually give color but try to again tone down that the colors could be grey or or, uh, or uh, olives, yeah, olives, uh, olive green, lighter, lighter, very lighter colors right. can be used to make the space look nice. But generally, it's better to go for white and off white for living and dining space. Thank you. And what do you have to say about choosing a paint for the house? The kitchen, there's very little areas that we can actually paint. Basically, yeah. because we try to clad it to a maximum. We have storage units, cabinets, cupboards, right. everything, the fridge, the equipment, are all there. So here in the kitchen, you find that you don't want to bring in too much color because there's already enough texture with these cabinets and your utensils and the work that we do in the kitchen. So the little area that has to be painted has to be absolutely muted, just not there. So it has All to be right. something like as close to white, white. or cream. Yeah. That would actually match with the tiles, right. the uh, cabinets, wooden cabinetry or any other type of material cabinet that you go for. It has to match with that and stay absolutely silent. It's not there. And with that, I think it's time for us to wind up with today's episode of Polycab India's number one cable and wires company Dream Homes. Season 6.